Guys, you're, I mean, you're, you're having to make a ton of plays in open field. How difficult is that against this, this group? Um, I would say it was it was a great test, uh, knowing that you know me being extended out there, um, that was something new this week. Me being moved to Spear, but uh, I think Coach Wright he helped us out all week by doing open field tackle drills, and today it came into play. Big difference between Spear and playing Cat Free wherever you were prior. I wouldn't say it is. Uh, just uh, I just know that I have to do the opposite on the other side. So. I started off as a spear here, um, so making that change wasn't really hard. But, no, I did enjoy it out there today. So, yeah. That was kind of similar to what you played at your previous school, right? Were yes. a lot of the similar fundamentals there? Yes, pretty much. Uh, just the naming is different, um, but everything else was the same. What made you more active today? I mean, you were just seemed like you were dialed in from the start. Uh, I think we were just antsy, you know, just to get out there and, you know, just to – you know, have some hope for the fans and the people of the state of West Virginia. Um, we know we needed this win uh, in this football team. So, you know, anything that I could do or, you know, the defense could have done, uh, we try to make it happen today and, you know, just give the ball back to our offense and come out with that win. So we were excited about that. You said they were one for 11 on third down and over two on fourth. What was the key to the success of those, those money comes? Uh, honestly, just blitz hard. Uh, coach, because Leslie, he wanted us, you know, to be aggressive. And I think a lot of teams, uh, you know, they would think that we're real passive. And, you know, we want to change the narrative and, you know, just go out there and, you know, do what we're supposed to do, uh, whether that was blitzing or just playing press man. Um, we just wanted to lock in on those tangibles. What's it like in a game like this? You know the, the, the rain is going to have an effect on the offense. Um, you know, do you kind of have to adjust to that and know that they're – Gonna make mistakes or they're gonna, you know, take anything like that. Yes, and we knew that there was gonna be more opportunities, knowing that it was wet and you know the ball would probably be on the ground. Uh, but we also knew it was gonna be more of a running game now because you know it was really slippery outside. So uh, I think we that made us even more aggressive, you know, to lock in on the run and play downhill. What do defensive guys do when the game-winning field goal is getting ready? You can't do anything except sit there and watch. So what do you watch? Do you close your eyes? <laughs> I would say we feel like the fans, honestly. There's nothing we can do. Um, I just know I took a knee and locked arms with, you know, my brothers on the sideline. But, oh, man, just it, it was it was a unreal feeling to see Casey Legg make that field goal and the time run out. So, yeah, we were really excited. What's the reaction when it does go through? I think it was more of a sigh of relief uh, to finally beat Oklahoma after the drought of being in the Big 12. Uh, that was big for us. And – I know it was big for the coaches as well. So, yeah, we were really excited about that. Were you, were you aware that this program hasn't beat, hasn't beat West Virginia or hadn't beat Oklahoma since joined the Big 12? Yes. Um, I, I know we were talking about it uh, yesterday, some of the players, but we wanted to change the narrative on that. Um, just, you know, that would be a good stepping stone for us to get a win over Oklahoma, you know, so that this team can be remembered by something. And were you aware of that prior to coming to West Virginia, that, that, that this program hadn't beat Oklahoma in conference play? I honestly didn't know that. I thought when Tavon Austin had those yards, I thought they won that game. But, yeah, they they informed me about that. And it was actually an interesting fact. But it's it's exciting to be the first team to do that here. Is this your – do you have any idea you guys were going to fake punt that one play? Because you're going right back out there, it seems like, and all of a sudden take a seat. Oh, I didn't. I would uh, – to be honest, I think I didn't listen well in the punt meetings. But uh, when they <laughs> – when they called that play, uh, I didn't know that that was going to happen. Um, but just to see it and see it get executed, it was, it was exciting. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious, between like that and then I know you play defense, but when you see a backup quarterback come in and it seems like everybody kind of gets a boost, I don't know if it things like that contribute to the defense, um, kind of get a spark. You would think offense, right? But yes. It like affects the defense too. Uh, I would say it affects us. Um, I know Garrett, he came over to us and told us that he has us. And, you know, we said the same thing back. And, you know, being a man of his word, he went out there and, you know, he did a great job for us. And we hope that we did a great job for him. So, yeah. Is it hard to be aggressive on screens? You know, obviously, if you miss, it's, it's probably a big play. Yes, uh, I would say it's kind of hard. Um, honestly, it's just shooting your shot. Uh, just try to blow it up or because you know you have guys behind you who will rally to the football and make the play. So, 
I just try to play fast. You have talked about um, you guys, the defense, not playing with fear, you know, being afraid to make mistakes. Does that go into it where you want to play fast and you don't want to be afraid that, hey, if I miss this guy, he might, you know, run up the sideline or something? Yeah, I would say that was more of our problem uh, early in the year was thinking too much. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we're just playing football. You know, if you play fast, we're going to make mistakes. But as long as you're giving 100% effort, then we'll, we can fix that on the uh, sideline. But out there on the field, just you should just have no regrets. So just go as hard as you can.